<laughs> I'm going to show you how to use your smartphone in your GCSE and A-level physics lessons. I really hope you're going to like this one because I, if you're like me, you're pretty attached to one of these and they can be really useful tools for your physics learning and your physics experiments as well. So this one I really like, it's called Vid Analysis Free. It is an Android app and actually if you are an iPhone user then I think there's one called Motion Tracker Lite which, which you can use also free. You essentially take a video of what you want to track, you load it straight into the, the program, hit Start Analysis and what you'll be asked is um, can you specify a length? So you pick two points and tell it how many meters that is and then you set the origins, in other words, where do you want this motion to start from by moving the graph across to the start there, uh, hit the tick and then you're in the analysis section and you're, all you're doing really is clicking on the ball every single frame, okay, and it's going to record its position against that x, y axis that you've got there and hence you're going to get your different graphs. As soon as you've finished, you could save it and you can export um, you can either view them as graphs of x, y position, you can view it as x velocity um, or y velocity, whatever you're interested in, whatever a different experiment is looking at. Um, you can save it and export it as a CSV as well, which is the language that Excel does. You either send it to yourself by email or save it on your, your phone and get it off by USB or whatever. It just depends what you want to do. Obviously, there's a bit of a limiting factor between, because of how wide your finger is. So each time you hit in a pixel, it's not going to be perfectly on that pixel. And I don't think this allows you to kind of zoom in and zoom out. But I still think it gives you a pretty good little picture of different curves, um, which will now you, allow you to work out some accelerations maybe um, and how motion changes over time. So it's a quick one really, rather than, having, rather than going in and using a tracking software on a PC. Um, I've experiments that might be really good for this, well yes, definitely tracking your friends and their sports performance, but also maybe trolleys colliding might be quite good, so you can actually see how the speed changes before and after a collision, or um, maybe just simple speed distance time calculations, or modelling how different forces affect acceleration, there's loads of different things you could do, it's a good one to have in your toolbox ready to go. Okay, so that is a vid analysis free. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.